Welcome to the secret place this morning and uh, welcome to more ice. As you can see, everything is frozen solid. This time of year, the roofer's lot is not a happy one. So, we are loading on the hip here, ready to start cutting the hip up. And then we've got Yorkshire Storm Ridge to go up the hip here. When it eventually thaws out. But as you can see, everything is frozen solid. And uh, this side of the roof is in the shade pretty much all day. So, as you can see, absolutely frozen solidness. Now, we did try to twang out the lines the other day. And uh, there was a problem because everything was frozen solid and it was starting to melt at the time and our lines were running. We ended up with a line about that long. Absolutely no good at all. So we opted for drawing them on with a pencil. But, uh, a lot of you guys don't like the fact that uh, guys like me use stabilisers. Been a bit of conversation on the roofing groups recently regarding stabilisers. Well, why do you need stabilisers? You've been at it a long time. Well, I've been at it 42 years and I still use stabilisers. And there you go. Have that. Uh, a lot of you guys, you're too good. You don't need stabilisers. Well, good luck to you, mate. I use stabilisers every single time. And on some occasions, I mark out for every single slate. And all you, a lot of you guys go, oh, what's going on? You're an idiot, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not, mate. You're the idiots for not marking stabilisers on the on the lot. Uh, now, you can put a stabiliser on the lot, you can put an idiot up here laying slate. That's why I'm still here doing it today. But uh, I'm going to leave you there, looking at the ice and my hand-drawn stabiliser lines. There you go, guys. All hand-drawn. A lot of you guys are going to say, oh, it's going to take forever to draw all them lines. Yeah, it might take a little bit of time to put lines on the roof, but it's much, much faster, guys. Much faster. Takes your thinking out of slating. You pick it up, whack it in a box. There you go, it's done. But uh, today is not going to be a fun day. Because, like I say, this side of the roof does not thaw out. And this place has been frozen solid for about three weeks now. And I'll be quite honest with you, I'm starting to get a bit pissed off with the ice, but uh, I suppose it's part of my job working in the ice. All them people in office jobs saying, oh, you've got a lovely job out there in the sunshine. I bet you get a lovely tan. Well, let me tell you, the ice does not give you the tan. The ice makes you, makes you feel cold and the second I stick my my body up on these on this this roof here start picking up them slate with ice on them the ice drains the temperature straight out of your body and uh, it takes a little bit of practice to keep yourself regulated even after 42 years I still freeze my nads off and I sometimes need to sit in the van and get myself warmed up but, uh, not to worry mine is not to reason why mine is but to do and die See you later.